Well, the lab analysis of the new carbon fiber antenna is in. Is it a 50-ohm carbon resistor air-cooled dummy load? Made even better by these Faraday's cloth radials. Well, the results were not what we expected. My RF engineer collaborator, ON6URE, bought one of these carbon fiber antennas, took it into his lab, and ran a series of tests. All right, here's the whip we're talking about here. This is from the Amazon website, GRACF5200 Carbon Fiber HF Telescopic Whip Antenna. This is the longer version. Uh, 201.6 inches. This is the one that will give you a quarter wave on 20 meters. And from this picture, you can see that it has this universal mounting option with a 10 millimeter male connector and a free 10 millimeter to 3 eighths inch adapter ensuring compatibility with most mounts and bases. Lightweight construction weighs only uh, 6.7 ounces, so very lightweight. And here we can see that it is telescopic in construction, but it is not like a stainless steel telescopic whip where you can adjust the length. Uh, this carbon fiber whip has to be fully extended. And finally, this whip offers exceptional length and performance in a stylish navy blue finish. So, his basic conclusion. Well, here is exactly uh, what Yuri Van Duren, ON6URE, told me after his analysis. The carbon whip actually turned out better than we expected. I tested them in the lab, and the manufacturer's claims all hold up. We could have the graphite-graphene resin mix confirmed by a lab, but it's not really necessary. The DC resistivity and the RF measurements match exactly what they promise and what we measure. Can you believe it? A new ham radio product that isn't a ripoff. Now, does this mean the carbon fiber antenna is as good or better than a stainless steel telescopic whip? Well, no, it's down about 1 dB, which is insignificant. So what's the point? Well, it comes down to one word, weight. And actually, maybe another word too, QRO. Let's go to the RF Guru website and see what ON6URE is found. All right, here we are. Conclusion, a balanced view of 20-meter carbon whips. Our measurements confirm what we have published before. Carbon whips are not miracle antennas, but neither are they the lossy dummy loads some believe. Strengths, only 1 to 1.5 dB behind stainless on 20 meters. Excellent for HF receive. Light, stiff, easy to deploy, better than expected material quality. Limitations. Heat concentration near the base limits continuous transmit power. Not suited for high-duty cycle QRO. Thermal drift increases above 300 to 400 watts PEP. Bottom line. The 20-meter carbon whip is a perfectly usable RF radiator for portable, SSB and receive work, it is not a kilowatt class radiator, but it performs far better than the worst case assumptions many hams and our earlier RF models suggest. Now I can see the carbon fiber antenna as something for soda summits on the air where weight matters. These are crazy hams who to climb to the tops of mountains and set up a ham station and make contacts. Actually, wouldn't it be nice if more of us looked like him and not like this? Consider subscribing to this channel, ring the bell for updates, and 73.